Today we will solve a very simple problem of checking whether a number is a power of 2 or not. So first thing you must know about the numbers which are power of 2 like 2, 4, 6, uh, not 6, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32 and so on and even 1 is that they have just one bit set in them. For example here are 4 examples of numbers which are power of 2. So this if this bit is uh, set then this means it's 2 raised to the power 0 that is 1 if this is set then it's 2 raised to the power 1 that is 2 4 8 16 32 64 128 so this number is 128 similarly this one will be 32 this one will be 8 and this is 1 all of them are power of 2 but if we have more than one bit set then you cannot get that number using power of 2. Let's say we have uh, this is a power of 2 this is 1 2 4 this number denotes 4 but if I set one more bit let's say 1 1 0 then it becomes 6 and 6 is not a power of 2. So how we will find it? Uh, one simple trick is that you can keep you can count the number of bits in the given number if this count is 1 and the number is greater than 0 then you return true otherwise you return false so there are a few ways of doing it one is that uh, you you have a ready made function in c++ called bit set and here you specify the number of bits you want to represent the number let's say 32 and if you pass here let's say uh, 5 then it will return 32 bits a few zeros and then followed by 101 and uh, if you want to print it you can do two string to print it and if you want to count it you can call dot count method so uh, you do bit set given number and dot count is equal to 1 and number is greater than 0 then we can be assured that this number is a power of 2. Now let's see some other method where do you don't use this uh, built-in function. So what is the peculiar thing about this power of 2? Let's say we have this 100. Zero zero. There are more 0 bits. I am not bothered about that. So this is 248. This number is 8. If we subtract 1 from it, we get 7. And what is the representation of 7? All 1s and everything else 0. So if uh, kth bit is, is set, let's say this bit is set at kth position. In power of 2 only one bit will be set. So let's say it's at kth position and everything to the left and right are 0. So if this number is n and if we do n minus 1 without even doing any calculation we can write it as all zeros till k this point and everything else 1 and here you can see one example the same will hold true for 16 as well this is 16 and this side zeros if you subtract 1 you get 15 so its representation will be 1 1 1 1 so till here it will be 0 whatever bit was set and everything to the right of it will be 1 so if you take the end of these two what will be the result it will be 0 there is no bit common and also uh, you have to add that check n greater than 0 so uh, our formula becomes that if n is greater than 0 and n and bitwise and here we are doing is 0 then it's a power of 2 otherwise it's not you may be thinking that uh, what if we do uh, instead of minus why don't we do right shift and do the and that would be faster but you see that here it will work right shift but let's say you have number like this 1010 zero, one zero, and here it's 0 so this is 10 if you right shift it 1 it will become 0 0 1 0 1 that is 5 if you take the end of these again you will get 0 but this is not a power of 2 so in this case doing that will hold but not always maybe some non power of 2 also satisfies this condition so that's why we are doing negative minus 1 
So I hope it's clear. Now let's write the code for this in C++, Java and Python. So first let's say use that uh, bit set that may not be, you may not use here, but that is a very useful thing to know. So I will represent it in 32 bits. And let's say you want to see the representation, then you can print it also. And there are many more methods uh, to this bit set. One of the one of them is to string when you want to print them or see the content in the string form. Other one is count, which you re which returns how many bits are actually set. So let's run it. So you see uh, we have printed this and it shows the representation of this number one. So let's try a few values. Let's print 10, 5 and 16. So 10 and 5 are not power of 2, 16 is and we know the bit representation of 10 and 5 and you will see how easy it is to use bit set to know the actual bit representation. So this is 10 and this is 5. Now let's uh, use the other formula that we had seen. So this was just for your info uh, that bit set can be very useful here it's not required it's a very easy problem but in some cases this may be very useful and you must know it. So let's write our one liner code which is return n greater than 0 and n and n minus 1 this should be equal to zero and let's add a few negative values like, like minus five minus four and it gives correct result for oh uh, so it gives wrong result here uh, this one third last which is 16 now it's correct so let's submit And this solution is accepted. Now uh, we will not require any change in any other language. I think it should work. And it works. So let's submit in Java. This is accepted. Finally we will submit it in Python. And only thing is that this will be AND and this bit by the end remains same also remove it and this solution is also accepted